Marvin Harrison Jr. has been the talk of the town for most Arizona Cardinal fans. Today, we're going to dive into exactly what Jonathan Gannon said about meeting with Marvin Harrison Jr. And we're going to dive into, do we think it's a red flag that Marvin Harrison Jr. ended up skipping the media portion of the combine? Let's dive right into it. What's going on everybody welcome back into another video definitely do me a huge favor smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more arizona cardinal news and content we're on the road to 14k and right now we are in the thick of things of the nfl combine and we ended up seeing some real 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 big man out there that shouldn't be moving as fast as they do uh and we end up seeing that here in the combine so really excited about i guess just the future of the nfl and seeing who comes in uh to the Arizona Cardinals, but let's dive right into it, everybody. We ended up getting word today that the Arizona Cardinals ended up uh, meeting with two of the top prospects here of the respected groups, right? We ended up getting a word that the Arizona Cardinals met with Marvin Harrison Jr., which is consensus number one wide receiver throughout the board, and then they also met with Terrian Arnold as well. But big shout out here to 98.7 with the reports here. Um, of course, with the whole media availability, uh, we also did hear that Marvin Harrison Jr. actually skipped out on uh, the, the opportunity to meet with the media, uh, and we're going to be diving into that a little later on, but let's get to the reports here from Tyler Drake of 98.7. Let's first start off here with Terrian Arnold, the cornerback here out of Alabama, six foot, 20 years old, 196 pounds. Um, he did end up meeting with the Arizona Cardinals today. And of course, we ended up getting uh, Jonathan Gannon, JG, our head coach, jumping onto the local radio station. He ended up kind of chiming in pertaining to how were those interviews. And this is exactly what he said about Terrian Arnold. He did jammy, but I played receiver back in the day. So then the next rep, but he put his hands up and I swiped them down and said, Said, I would have scored on that one. So it, it's really exciting here, obviously, with the background here of Jonathan Gannon, you know, being a player um, at one point in his life. Um, they had an opportunity to kind of get down to it. And I think this is kind of one of those big things about, you know, meeting with these players up front because you can turn on the film and you know that they are players or they're ballers and they know how to play football but they're looking for a specific type of person right and it's kind of really cool to see that Jonathan Gannon's kind of getting into the forefront right and actually being out here and actually making a connection with these young young kids that are coming into the NFL because at the end of the day we forget right yes these guys are freak athletes but this is a 20 year old kid right this is a 20 year old kid that's going to be coming into a NFL locker room with 28 29 30 year old grown men um and they're gonna probably have to be leaders at one point so it's a lot to ask for but it's really cool to see a head coach being as down to earth as Jonathan Gannon is and it's really cool that we are meeting with a Terry and Arnold as well because arguably one of the best cornerbacks coming into this year's NFL draft and let's be honest the Arizona Cardinals can very well use a cornerback but let's dive into what I guess everybody wants to talk about here right that the Arizona Cardinals did also meet with Marvin Harrison Jr. today and that is absolutely huge news because now this isn't news that it's far-fetched right this is not like oh breaking news I think this is obviously bound to happen the Cardinals right now have the fourth overall spot here in the NFL draft and there was actually a report that came out earlier today saying that the consensus or what it sounds like within you know all the NFL rumors and what they're hearing within the NFL world because of the combine it almost kind of seems like it's most likely going to be quarterback 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 um, in the uh, the NFL draft which obviously means that the Arizona Cardinals are going to be privy to get the best player that they see fit uh, to go into their locker room right so really exciting there now I never uh bat an eye personally now obviously for conversation pieces we also had to explore the options of trading back but let's call it like it is if Marvin Harrison Jr. is there at four don't outsmart yourself. Do the right thing and get this generational talented player on your roster and give a weapon to Kyler Murray because I'm expecting to compete next year. I'm expecting to compete next year. So I'm really excited about that. Now let's move on to exactly what Jonathan Gannon said about Marvin Harrison Jr. And this is exactly what he said. He's very thought out, very mature, and was a very good interview. And of course, because of the idea that Marvin Harrison Jr. was not available for the media, if you guys don't know that, yes. So there there was a report that came out on the very first day of the combine, which I believe it was Tuesday of this week, saying that he was not anywhere, right? Anywhere to be found. But he did make an appearance yesterday and obviously met with a lot of the teams that he needed to meet with. When the time came for Marvin Harrison Jr. to meet with the media, 
he was nowhere to be found, right? The NFL spokesperson ended up saying he's just, he's not here, right? So a lot of media people out there right now are kind of jumping to conclusions, saying things like, oh, this is an absolute red flag for Marvin Harrison Jr. Obviously to me, when I heard this, I was like, ha, that is absolutely hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious because honestly, at the end of the day, you got nothing to prove. Well, what are you going to ask, right? Some very, very basic questions. And I've heard some of those questions here in Indianapolis here. Some of those questions are absolutely bogus and absolutely dumb and absolutely just waste of time. So Marvin Harrison Jr. obviously knows he's going to be somewhere or, or selected somewhere in the top five. This man does not need to answer questions about what's your favorite color, stuff like that, right? He doesn't need to answer any of that stuff. He knows what he is. He knows what he's about. And honestly, I have no problem with it. But Jonathan Gannon was also asked about this as well. And this is what Jonathan Gannon said. Kudos to him. I would have done the same thing if, if I could have. More power to him. So honestly, this is not something where the Arizona Cardinals are, you know, kind of worried with the thought of, oh my God, this guy is going to be too into himself, right? No, I, honestly, at the end of the day, what's the most important thing is that is Jonathan Gannon comfortable with coaching this individual, right? Is he comfortable with bringing him in the locker room? And obviously not just Jonathan Gannon, but Monty Austin Ford as well. Are they comfortable bringing this player into their locker room? And with what we're hearing, the fact that Marvin Harrison Jr. is just business, right? And all football, it's kind of a no-brainer. You you most likely probably have to bring him into the locker room if he is available at four. So at the end of the day here, ladies and gentlemen, I am super, super excited to hear that the Arizona Cardinals have met with Terry and Arnold as well as um, Marvin Harrison Jr. Now, a perfect world will be for the Cardinals to get both of those players, but I get it, right? It's very, very unattainable because we got the fourth pick and then we got the 27th pick. There's a big gap there, right? There's an absolute big gap and there's definitely a real possibility that both of those guys are going to be gone within the top 15. Now, can the Cardinals trade up with that 27th overall spot? Yes, we can. But as of right now, TBD, we don't know exactly what the Arizona Cardinals are going to do, but it's trending in the right direction for the Cardinals to just overall be, I don't know, just overall be an exciting, exciting team in this offseason for the 2024 season. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts here about the Arizona Cardinals meeting with Marvin Harrison Jr. and Terry and Arnold? Let me know here in the chat below. Appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. Have a great rest of your day and go Cards.